When you think of housing authorities, what's in your mind? When I think about housing authority, it's how do you pretend like you're going to improve poor communities and use the majority of it to build luxury condos? Yeah, that's kind of accurate, it, or the thought, but here it's amazing. Yeah, you gotta take it I remember one day being on the top floor of the courthouse and I was about to cry. I mean, it was, it was a bad day. I was, wasn't seeing my kids as much as I wanted because I was working so hard. And I looked out of the north east corner of the courthouse and I, and, and I was overlooking some land I didn't know where it was. And I said to God, I said, God, it shouldn't be this hard to do good. I said, I know that you want me to get this school built, and it just shouldn't be this hard to do, do good. And he said, Elaine, open your eyes. And I opened my eyes, and he said, what do you see? I said, I, I, said, I see land. And he said, I brought you here to change that landscape. Pleasant City is named Pleasant City because Flagler, who built the railroad, you might have driven on Flagler Drive you did. earlier. Yeah, you did. The, the waterfront in West Palm Beach is Flagler Drive. You did drive on it. Flagler built the railroad, and he was over in um, Palm Beach. He, he had a mansion over there. And he discovered that there was a, a shanty town at the south end of Palm Beach where the uh, black men and women who worked in the houses on Palm Beach lived. And he decided that that land was too valuable for black people to be living on it. So he invited all of the maids and the butlers and the gardeners who lived on Palm Beach to come over to West Palm Beach for a picnic one Sunday. And while everybody was over here for the picnic, he burned down their homes. And he put up tents in this area in northwest West Palm Beach in which they could live until he built them homes. And he named the streets Happy, Cheerful, Merry, Beautiful, and the name of the neighborhood became Pleasant City. The Housing Authority was formed in 38 and by the early 40s, HUD had given it funding to build two um, housing developments. Dunbar Village was built in the Northwest community in Coleman Park, uh, and it was for black people. Southridge was built in the southern part of West Palm Beach, and it was for white people. As a baby, a kid, I grew up in this house. We just had it totally renovated. How many of y'all? It's me and my sister, mm -hmm. and my mom, and then my grandma. But my other family lived around the corner on my dad's side. My grandparents, and aunts, and cousins, and stuff. Came over here back to Pleasant City. Man, it wasn't over here, but Cubans and Haitians. Just slinging drugs everywhere. Mm -hmm. Cubans were selling to the Haitians. The Haitians was putting shit in that drug, man, that just had people craving, man. We walk around looking like zombies, me and every friend I got. The very same buildings, crack out that smoked dope in, mm -hmm. I told that. Nice. Came back and rebuilt all this area that we're taking into now. We built 124 garden style apartments, apartments that I would be willing to live in, that you would be willing to live in. And one of the criticisms was that, you know, we could have built more if we hadn't built it as nice, if we had built like a cinder block, as many housing developments are. But we wanted to build safe, decent, affordable housing that people would be happy to come home to. So these 14 acres that were blighted and awful and people were living in squalor and you know it, it, the, the crime level is down, the, 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 the community is beautiful and people who look like you and me are living much better lives and that's a happy legacy. Back to the courthouse, I brought you here to change this landscape. 
maybe 2005 or six, you know, six years after I had had that moment with God saying, you know, this is hard. I am working in Laurel's office and we, we're um, getting ready to go to court to take the last, to do the last trial. And she and I are preparing and I said, you know, Laurel, I need a map. And she goes into a closet and she gets a map that's about this big. And it's an aerial view of Coleman Park, which is where the new housing, the Dunbar, the, the Paul Lawrence Dunbar campus you saw today. Mm -hmm. That's where Paul Lawrence Dunbar is. And Pleasant City, where Mary Place is. And I'm looking at this aerial map and I realize that that's the land at which I was looking. That's the land at which I was looking from the corner of that courthouse. And it makes all the days that my kids had to wait for mommy to get home for dinner. I don't remember those days yeah. at all. That's good. That's good. That's good. You and Keith are the things that I wanted most in life. And sometimes it was hard. My priority was you, but if you, but you seldom got more than 50% of my time. It's, it's hard when you're hard. You honestly didn't need 100% of your time. <laughs> 50% was plenty concentrated. <laughs> plenty intense. <laughs> we turned out just fine. Yeah, well, look at you now, right? The one thing they never lacked was love. 